Hi everyone, it's Scrap Lady here. I am coming on today to talk about the Pass It On Challenge. Had a lot of questions about it, um, and right now the card is MIA. Uh, don't know what to do. The last person to have it was Belinda Williams. She contacted me um, because she had limited internet access. She only had in internet access through her phone. She was having a difficult time contacting the next person, which was Say Banana. So I gave her the information, um, the address of Save Nana, and also Karen McClure also gave her that information. So the last time I heard from Belinda was on June 15th. And I apologize for having so much time have gone by um, without me addressing this, um, but there's been a lot going on. Um, and so I'm just now really having time to do this. So what I have been doing was trying to get a hold of Belinda Williams, and I have had no luck. I contacted Melissa Gibson who sent the card to Belinda and Belinda did confirm that she got it so I'm checking with Melissa to see if she has the address of Belinda to actually send her a letter saying please contact me at my email address um, so I can find out exactly what happened um, did she send the card on June 15th, she told me that she received the information and that she was sending the card. Then I went on my trip for a month, and then since I've been back, um, got back end of July, um, I have had lots of stuff going on and um, having to deal with those things. So right now, um, the card is missing. So the question is, where do we go from here? Um, still trying to get a hold of Belinda somehow, some way. If anyone has information for Belinda, she lives in Ireland. If anyone out there has her information, if you could contact me or it, you know, let me know. Um, if someone is in Ireland, if you could send her a letter um, for me, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, and having have her you know contact me via email which um, PM me if you do have her information unfortunately I've looked through my things and I can't find her address so um, the question now is where do we go from here uh, the card was still to go to about a hundred people it had gone to 20 somewhere between 20 and 25 people who have signed it already so if the card truly is missing if Belinda has it then it's no big deal we can make some arrangements to um, get it from her or or do something um, and you know if she has it and it got lost in the shuffle somewhere I totally get that and that's no big deal but if she doesn't have it if she actually mailed it out then it's in limbo we don't know where it is so I don't know whether to start the whole process over again um, for the people that have already signed it it would mean you know you mailing it out again um, there is a chance that it could get lost again um, I'm not sure how to solve the problem of making sure I, I don't know. Um, again, if it's lost in the mail, it's lost in the mail. Um, I, I know here we put a return address on it and eventually it will come back to the person who sent it. So I, I don't know if that's what happened. Um, if, if she put a return address on it, I'm not really sure um, how they work um, in other countries. So if anyone can shed some light for me that would be wonderful um, the other thing is I'm perfectly willing to start it over again if I have enough people who want me to start it over again and especially for the people who have already signed it um, you know it's it's another expense to to get it 
and you know, to, I mean, to send it out again. Um, I don't know what to do. You know, I'm, I'm, and and it, we're taking the risk of doing it again, and that this could happen again. So I'm not sure. As you can see, I don't know what to do. As I've said many times. So if I can get some feedback. Um, if anyone has any suggestions, if anyone, you know, if, if you all feel really strongly that you want me to give it another shot, I will absolutely do that. I still have the list. Um, I, you know, when I had started it, I asked, you know, for people to follow up with me once they got it. And for the most part, that was happening. It was going very well. I was hearing I got it and I sent it to. Um, and that was working out very well. It just kind of fell through, fell through the cracks somehow, some way. And um, so if anyone has any suggestions or feedback, like I said, I am perfectly willing to start it over again. This is basically to the people that have already received it in, you know, the UK and Ireland and the places that it's been. I know that many people were looking forward to receiving it. And so if those of you who have received it and signed it, if you're willing for me to give it another try, if you're willing to um, send it out again, um, I can I can start it all over. Um, it's going to take you know now realistically we know it's going to take well over a year for this whole process to happen. No problem for me. I'm just very frustrated that you know I I, I don't know. Um, so let me know what you think. I you know it is a very exciting thing to do. And, um, but, you know, it's a lot, um, for this many people to, you know, to get it and to, um, sign it and everything. I don't know. <laughs> Help me. Um, so please, please, please leave some feedback, some comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think that there's a better way to do it. I will restart it. Um, I, I got so much support and, you know, so many people wanted to receive it and it, and it was really awesome. So I will, like I said, I will absolutely start it over again. Um, whether or not I start it in the United States and then, um, you know, have it come back to me and then I'll send it to the UK um, and Canada. I had people in Canada. I don't know. So, so many of you have so many really good ideas and, you know, really good suggestions. And so, um, throw them at me, please. Um, and let me know what you think. Where should I go from here? Um, start it over. Start it in the UK like I did the last time. Start it in the United States. Canada. I don't know. Uh, I just don't know what to do. Um, so, okay. I'm done rambling. <laughs> I'm very frustrated about this. So, comment, help me out, throw me a line, anything, um, and we'll make a decision together on uh, how to proceed with this. Um, I now have over 1,200 subscribers, which I've actually increased over the past like three or four days, like 30 some odd subscribers. Um, it's so exciting. Uh, some of it had to do with um, the fact that um, a fellow YouTuber, um, CraftyMe83, Jaredell, had received some hate mail, and I did a video um, that was called Support CraftyMe83, No More Bullying. 
Um, she was bullied. It was hate mail. It was horrible. And so she, I got a lot of support on my video for Jaredell. Um, and because of that, some other people did videos. And so um, everyone increased in subscribers through that, which was wonderful because Jaredell had new subscribers, some of which were my subscribers that went over to Jaredell and subscribed to her after they heard what was going on. Um, some of Jaredell's subscribers saw my video and subscribed to me and it was just a snowball effect and it was a wonderful snowball effect because Jaredell is now doing her daily vlogs again uh, because of all the support that she received from everyone um, and I'm thrilled and no one deserves to be treated that way so I want to thank everyone all my new subscribers and my old subscribers you guys are all so awesome um, this is you know this is our world you know a lot of you I feel the same way this is our our little world and you know you hurt someone and you hurt all of us and um, you know we, we stick together and so um, I that's the way I feel and uh, I have gotten nothing but just great you know support through through this whole time that I've been doing videos and um, so I want to also do another um, challenge I if I still if I regardless if I do the card again um, I'm still going to do another um, subscriber giveaway challenge thing and I'm leaning toward the um, ATC cards. Well, there's actually two things. Banners and ATC cards, but I'm thinking more towards the ATC cards. Um, I would love, I've never made one before, so um, I'm going to, you know, watch some, some tutorials and see about making ATC cards. Um, my thought is to, um, I guess, have people send me an ATC card and for every person that sends me an ATC card I'll send you a card um, you have to send one and I will send a bunch um, and I'm, that's what I'm thinking um, so um, or we could do you know groups of people and do um, you know maybe a group of five people and those five people make five cards so they would send it to the four other people plus one to me um, that might be a fun thing to do um, so I'll, I'll um, kind of just as people sign up I'll just go in groups of five um, and, or I could do groups of three you know so that maybe maybe three might be better um, so you would make three cards you'd send out um, there would be a group of three people so you'd have two people to send ATC cards to and then you'd also send one to me so you'd only have to send out three three ATC cards um, and then um, I will do the same um, where um, hopefully I would be able to send one out to everyone would also receive since, since I would be receiving a card from everyone I would send a card to everyone which means I'd have to get making a lot of ATC cards which would be fun I don't have a problem with that but this is just in the early stages I am not ready to start this yet I have some medical issues um, that I'm dealing with um, I've had major issues with my knee I got an injection in my knee um, a week ago and I've had a very severe reaction to it and um, so I've sp I spent Sunday in the emergency room. I was in the emergency room for 12 and a half hours. And I'm thinking, at what point do they consider you an inpatient? Um, <laughs> so anyways, um, all the results were good. Um, they did find that I had cellulitis, um, but not related to my knee, maybe related to my knee, I don't know. Um, but I haven't been able to walk um, without a cane or um, and even with a cane, extreme pain. So um, they've got things 
figured out, I guess, pretty much. It just that it's a severe reaction to the addiction. So that's been the focus of my life for the past, you know, week or, or so. Before that, I was having a lot of just generalized pain in my knee, and that's why I got the injection. So anyways, and then, I, you know, I have other um, family uh, members that I'm, uh, I, you know, that I'm taking, I take care of my mom and, and, and my mom and dad, you know, um, they live on their own and, and, but, you know, I, I do, uh, go over there and spend time with them on a regular basis. And, and, uh, so my dad can have a little bit of a break. He goes and vol volunteers and I go and visit with my mom for a while and, and things like that. So, um, that keeps me very busy and taking her and going with them to doctor's appointments and, you know, different things like that. And then of course I had the two weddings that I was, um, you know, my niece's wedding and then my daughter's friend's wedding that kept me very busy making albums and banners and all kinds of things. So, uh, you know, all good stuff pretty much. So anyways, that's my thoughts on the pass it on challenge I need comments on that and then my thoughts on doing a challenge and it'll be within the next month or so um, I need time to recuperate from my knee um, you know before I can really get together what I'm gonna do but um, I really am loving the ATC cards that I think that every, um, that I see that everyone's doing and I'm hoping that you don't that people aren't like ATC carded out you know, because it's been a lot of it. So uh, we'll see. Uh, it's a thought. And um, I do want to do, like I said, an appreciation challenge for everyone. And I would love to make and receive ATC cards. I think it would be a fun thing to collect. I think it's the fad and I want to go with the fad right now. <laughs> so anyways, that's my rambling for today. Um, please comment, help me out with the pass it on challenge. Any thoughts and suggestions or comments, let me know. All right, everyone, I will be back with another video um, tutorial that you requested on the album that I made um, for my niece for her honeymoon pictures. So I will be right back with that. Thanks for watching, everyone, and thanks for all your support and comments. Have a great day. Bye.